Now this vlog is about literacy in the music classroom. Now I know I might have a lot of viewers that are not music teachers and that is fine. to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about literacy. I know I might have a lot of viewers that are not music teachers and that is fine. You can still learn a lot from this video because honestly I know that you guys love it when music teachers include cross-curricular activities and music teachers love it if you are singing and including music in your classroom as well. And also some of these are just great books that you might want to add to your library whether you add music to it or not. Now in music we want to include literacy all the time. Literacy is a huge part of music. We are constantly reading music and learning new notes and how to read those different rhythms as well. So I love including different child books in every lesson for K through 2. I have a special corner in my room called the reading corner and I have a chair set up and a bookshelf right next to it and I tell I sing a song and the kids know right where to go and they know that that's the reading corner. I also have tape right in front of the chair so then kids don't hurdle around the chair. They just sit behind the line so then I'm able to get through and I have my own space. Now a lot of posts I've seen on different Facebook groups are what are some of your favorite books to include in your classroom? and. A lot of people are looking for different books and what books to include and the truth is any book works. Any book works. Just go to a garage sale and pick up a book. You can think about how to include music in that book later. I can buy books very cheap and in great quality. I went to a garage sale and a lady there had a ton of books for sale. Just a box full of children's books. She noticed I had a lot of books in my hand and she said, how about I work out a deal? You take this entire box for five bucks. And I said, oh my gosh, that would be great. You know, I just don't feel like I need all these books. Some of them I, I just don't feel like I need for my classroom. She said, wait, you're a teacher? And I said, yes. And she said, well, how about I give you the entire box for $1? <laughs> A lot of times people at garage sales, once they find out that you're a teacher and you want to put those books to good use, they will give those books to you at an unbelievable price. Now I love to do sound stories and simply sound stories is you find a word that might be repeated a lot, put an instrument to that and then assign kids certain words for an instrument. So if you're constantly hearing the word dog, maybe have a wood stick as a bark sound or C, you have a rain stick. And if you have a couple rain sticks, then do that. Um, also, sometimes if I have a couple minutes left and I don't have enough time to do an activity, I simply take them over to the reading corner and read them a book because literacy is music. So I don't feel bad if I'm not doing music in a particular way because a lot of times kids just need to be read to. A lot of times they might not be getting it at home. I teach at a Title I school and kids just need to be read to and it will also include their literacy skills in the long run for music. The first book I want to talk about is our favorite, Pete the Cat. Everybody loves Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat is a great book to have in your classroom. I currently have maybe five different Pete the Cat books, and I'm constantly looking at getting more. This one I always do at the beginning of the school year with my kindergartners, maybe my first graders as well. They love Pete the Cat, so they get super excited. And a lot of them already know it, so then they probably will be singing and doing it with you already, which is great. As you can see, there's already like music notes and he has, has a guitar. This one is Rocking in My School Shoes great book um, as you can see it also says for free song for free song go to HarperCollins 
Children's.com, Pete the Cat. So you simply go there and they have the free song and you can, and it also reads it with you. So instead of you having to read, this would also be a great book for if you're sick and don't have much of a voice or you need a sub plan, this is a great resource. You simply pull it up. Um, I typically have like an iPad or I'm looking at getting a CD player to have next to my, my reading corner. So that's a great resource. The next book I want to talk to you guys about is What a Wonderful World. Now everybody knows and loves this song by Louis Armstrong. Look at those colors. Just incredible colors. And you can put the song with it. You can play the song with it. Or you can simply sing it. And some of these kids already, some kids already know the song as well. So they might be singing with you. Just look at those colors, guys. Just incredible. I got this book from Amazon. And what's great about it is it's a hardcover, great condition, brand new. And I maybe spent max... 15 bucks. I included this book in more ways than just my classroom. The concert theme for me was the four seasons. So my first graders, their season was spring. So I did this one because it's talking about the different colors of spring. What they did during the concert is they actually danced to scarves. They were familiar with the book because they read it and then I gave them choreography with their scarves and that was one of the songs that my first graders did for their concert. I learned about this book and dancing with scarves through the IMEA conference during all state time at Iowa State University. I went to a conference there and they talked about using drums and balls and scarves and they brought up this book and we learned our dance to it. I changed some of the moves because I didn't quite remember it because I went there during student teaching so I couldn't remember quite the exact dancing but the kids loved it and the parents cried and it was beautiful. The last book I want to be talking to you about is a necessity that I had to have in my classroom the very first year of teaching. It's Click Clack Moo Cows That Type. I love this book. It is great. I love it. I had to have it. I think it's one of the first books that I had to have in my classroom. It has a CD that comes right with it. What I do is read the book. Then I have them listen to the song, the typewriter song. I'll put the link down below in the description for you to listen to it. They practice typing and swiping. It can go really fast. And it practices the skill of going fast or presto. And they absolutely love it. And then at the end of class, before they leave, they can be in a line. And my student teaching placement, they had an old typewriter. So they got to actually experience typing on a typewriter and they think it's the coolest and greatest thing ever. So I definitely recommend this book. So again, my three books was Pete the Cat, Rockin' in My School Shoes, What a Wonderful World, and Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. I will be posting a new literacy video every Thursday, so be on the lookout for that. Also, I am going to be getting my keys for my classroom next week, so there will be a video coming out about moving everything into my new classrooms, and I am so excited to get in there, start decorating and organizing. It's my favorite part. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and share so it can reach other great teachers out there. Have a great night. Bye.